In this video, I will discuss how to place a lumbar epidural. First, you will grab your materials, which include skin prep, sterile gloves and drape, your epidural, and the epidural infusion. Next, you will position the patient. Some places have a patient positioner that's shown here, but you just need to make sure that the shoulders are over the hips with their lumbar spine pushed out against you, and that opens up the space between the vertebrae. The adult spinal cord ends at L1 or L2, so by feeling for the iliac crest, that will get us to around L4, which is a safer spot. Next, you will sterilize the back, put on your sterile gloves and drape. You will use lidocaine to infiltrate the skin, again around the L4 area. You will insert the TUI needle with the bevel facing up, and you will go through the skin, subcutaneous fat, supraspinous ligament, interspinous ligament, and ligamentum flavum. You will remove the stylet and attach a loss of resistance syringe, which is usually filled with two to three milliliters of water or air. Gently tap on the plunger to ensure resistance. Then advancing the needle a few millimeters at a time, you will check the pressure on the plunger with each movement. Once the air or fluid is easily injected, this means that you have loss of resistance. And at that time, you can insert the catheter about five centimeters past the end of the needle. You will then remove the needle, secure the catheter to the back, and give your test dose, which is usually lidocaine with epi. Have the patient lay down and monitor for these symptoms. Metallic taste, motor sensory changes in the legs, palpitations, or ringing in the ears. If your patient doesn't have any of these symptoms, then the epidural infusion can begin. And of note, it is possible to do a thoracic epidural, but I'm not gonna discuss that technique here. And here are my references.